Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. Uh, if this is your first time of checking out my YouTube videos, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Yes, do you remember 2019, uh, the president of Ghana uh, made a statement that all African diaspora come home? Yes, and so this opened a lot of avenues for our brothers and sisters you know, from the diaspora and then those in Africa to connect. You remember I brought this project with our Cebu Pan-African village. This was instituted by Nana Obukesi. Uh, he is one of the chiefs, you know, under the uh, Cebu traditional area. And then he also came up with this idea of working with Dr. Arikana that introduced Africans or Ghanaians to uh, Wakanda, one city of return. Now, we are here in Mori community. In my previous video, you saw uh, the launching or the unveiling of Ferengi Kweja. He is one of the Ghana's most celebrated fishermen in this country. Now, today I'm speaking to one big man. Yes, when I say big man, <laughs> it means that when I started following or uh, being a Pan-African, I see him a lot. I talk to him a lot. I interview him a lot. And there's a connection between my father and I. So today we're going to talk about uh, Mori community. I told you it's a fishing community. If I should turn this camera right now, you realize that there are a lot of fishes around us, you know, smoked fish. People are selling around us because we are here at the Mori runabout. Just behind me, you can see welcome to Mori, Ghana's historic fishing capital, city of lights. What does that say? To you? So we are going to have a beautiful conversation about Mori community. So I have here with me Nana Kwamena Kra the second. He is the Tufuhin of Atonkwa community in Elmina. And we're talking about Central Region. And like I told you, I'm bringing you more stuff about Central Region. We are discovering Central Region this year. Welcome to my YouTube oh, channel. Oh, thank you so much for having yes, me here. I know this is not your first time of being on my channel, but I'll let you um, introduce yourself okay. to my listeners. Yes. I'm a uh, Locally known here as Nana Kramana Crowd II. Second, okay. Tufahin and Atonkwa, as you've described. In the United States, I'm known as Dr. David Whitaker Esquire. I have two PhDs, one in education and one in psychology. So here, I'm also involved with Maury mm -hmm. directly in regards to this project that we're talking about. But I'm also the rector for the Oberkesi University of Excellence. Well. And uh, that's a big project that's also taking place in our Sabo. Right. So we are here, and you provided a good intro segue, <laughs> because when His Excellency uh, Kufuado dedicated 2019 as a year of return, mm -hmm. it actually tapped into the consciousness and the psychology of all diasporans that have been waiting for years for an opportunity to go home, looking for an invitation. Mm -hmm. So as soon as the invitation was presented, the people packed up and they came in numbers that no one anticipated. Right. Maybe a million people came in response to that. So we were already here. I've been a chief in Elmina for 17 years. Oh. So we were already here also looking for this response. <laughs> we knew that when that invitation went out, will be overwhelming. So pump two two billion dollars into the economy according to their financial uh, estimates. And so then beyond the year of return is what we're in now. And uh, we discovered, I discovered something that I never anticipated, which is the genesis of this project that you just um, covered in the unveiling. To learn that in the, Asebu traditional area, Mori in particular, the, the historical understanding is that Fanya Kweja and Asebu Aminfi yeah. migrated here from ancient Egypt. Yeah. And that connection, if we can make it solid, changes everything we know about history. Right. So the unveiling of the statue was the first step Mm -hmm. to establish that Afanya Kweja settled here, start doing his work here, and expanded beyond this because Kweja is known all across the Gulf of, of, of Guinea. Yeah. 
So, but this was his original home. So right. we wanted to establish that fact as the beginning work to looking into how can we use this knowledge yeah. to further understand history, to further understand how we can capitalize on it and develop Mori as a community, right. as a demonstration project of how if we use the resources that are readily available to us, yeah. we can build ourselves up, we can advance our interests, and we can create the communities that we want. Right. We don't need outside aid if we have Kweja right here. right here. We don't need outside aid. So we're standing here at the junction mm -hmm. so as to create the environment that will attract and afford easy access to visitors. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many people since they've seen your video and other photos, how many people have contacted me and say, I have to go there and see that in person. I have to see that in person for myself. Mm -hmm. So we know that it's going to stimulate traffic right. and visitors, right. which will allow us to teach history, have history in the schools that reflect the culture and the history of the people. And we will begin to very quietly create a transformation so that African people will be very happy about being Africans and not mimicking Westerners and people from the UK and the French and all of this. We will be very happy just being ourselves, but we have to know something about ourselves in order to really embrace who we are. So that's what this is all about. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. The, the Kweja uh, statue is the hook. Yeah. If you were a fisherman, yeah. that's only the hook. The fish are what we're trying to, to attract. Bring we're yeah. bringing the fish. That's the hook. So, and so far, it has really stimulated a yeah. lot of interest. Right. So, to manage this, we're not going to do anything just like we're doing this mm -hmm. conversation. We, we didn't just stop here to start talking. No. You are all set up with an infrastructure here yes. to do this. Yeah. So we're going to treat this development and investigation the same way. Through the Mori Comedic Rebirth Projects, who I'm their principal chief consultant. Okay. Through that umbrella of Mori Comedic Rebirth Projects, we're going to organize the infrastructure, how it will impact students in school, how it will impact the look of this area how it will impact the performance and the behavior of taxi drivers around the circle, how it will impact further development, investment, how will we attract all of the things we need as a fisherman yeah. so that in our net we will be able to get everything, everything in our net. So the Maury Comedic Rebirth Project, we're busy right now getting our website set up, okay. getting a team of consultants mm -hmm. to assist me and broaden that so we have a big team just like you have a big team here it's not just us talking yeah. you have a big team supporting you so the Maury Comedic Rebirth Projects will have a big team that some people will be devoted to what can we do in education right. with the curriculum with the teachers what can we do in terms of development new business support the businesses that are there what can we add to it in terms of development of infrastructure and construction right. and so all of that is part of what we're talking about and it will this would be the epicenter yes. of it and then it will spill out of this community into the entire Asebu traditional area and eventually people will watch this and they will say there's a development project there's an example of what people could do and so far we haven't asked anyone for any money other than people that are interested in this. Yeah. So I want to give a shout out to all the diasporans that contributed uh, funds to this because without their support, you know, without money, you can't do much of anything uh, other than pray that you get some money. So we have the support of a lot of people and they have made it happen. They've seen it. <laughs> so and they're all saying I have to go there and see that myself. So right. we're off to a fantastic start. If this was a football game, a championship game, we yeah. were we have already <laughs> scored four goals. Yeah, thank you. So <laughs> if it was a championship game, we would have scored four goals. Now, in in the president, you know, intention to bring the 
diaspora and Africans together. Definitely one of the components will be Africans connecting with the diaspora to do this. Now, I know that you are in charge of the Kemetic Robert Association. Uh, definitely there would be someone locally represented here that is working with you, which I would say Obukese Foundation. What would you say about the contribution that Obukese Foundation has made to this? Well, Obukese Foundation is actually the, the engine okay. that, that has created these ideas. Yeah. And it's going to be the engine that keeps pushing us. But I've often said that there's a phrase that in uh, history that says, nothing is more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Okay. But people think when I say that, they think I'm talking about something that I've done. Yeah. What I'm really talking about is the answer to your question. Mm -hmm. We are at a time where it should be evident to us yeah. that if diasporans and continental Africans join forces, mm -hmm. that's the idea of unity whose time has come. Okay. And so we can see this. Okay. We provided some funds to finance this outside. But all the work has been done by Ghanaians. <laughs> Nobody right. came here to do anything. Yeah. I didn't do any painting. I did no, no, yeah. no but sculpturing. It the it's the collaboration yeah. that's not seen as clearly. Mm. People usually would recognize the head and they would attribute everything yeah. to this person. But this has been a collaborative effort so that everything that is seen on that statue and its house, the circle, yeah. has been done by Maori residents, All right. not us. We've just provided a little money to keep the machine running, like fuel in your car, mm -hmm. but we, yeah. it's not the car. So that's important because if we don't show ourselves the capacity that we have by working together, we're missing a point. Right. Because for 500 years, the diasporans have been working alone, mm -hmm. the Africans have been working alone, and this is how far we've gotten. Yeah. So we can see that as soon as we join forces, forces. with each other, like I'm, you know how to do this, I don't know how to do this. So you say we stand here, I stand right here. I don't question you and tell you where I would like to stand, or I think it would be better if I stand yeah. up. That's, that's your lane. So you know what to do about that. So we let each other do our things. Mm -hmm. Uh, Africans and Ghanaians have tremendous amounts of talent oh, yeah. that nobody knows about, right. that nobody knows about. So we know about it, and if we seize the opportunity to work together, we will be able to do things like this. Like this. We only started this project two months ago. Okay. And it's already done. It's already up. It's already finished. Yeah. In the U.S., if you were going to put up a statue like this, it would take eight or nine months to talk about okay. the concept. Before, another two years to find a location, <laughs> another three years to it. So we've already, this is already up. In two months. In two months, this is wow. up. So we, we can demonstrate how we could fast track things if we connect with each other. The connecting is the key. All right. We connect with each other. I could never do what we're doing right now. I could never do this. I'd have somebody standing with a cell phone and I'd be talking and they would say, I can't hear you. So this is a professional operation. So that's what we're about. And we're gonna, this is just the first step. The first step. So we're gonna build on that and work strategically, work professionally, and work with a sense of purpose and make sure everything is done just as nicely as this was done. So if definitely this is the first step, then this episode, this screen, what you're seeing right now is the first part of whatever we're going to um, show you from Maury community. So we're going to go up into the community and then also show you what is happening in there. So hey, thank you very much for checking us out. Until we come your way again, this is Echo Simpson talking with my Tufuhin of Atonkwa community, Nana Pamina Pra. Madasi P.